Hello guys and welcome for another video on my channel and today we're going to do the possible Juventus squad uh, for the season um, So let's get into this so in goal uh, we have Buffon and uh, his replacement is Neto uh, Two very nice goalkeepers in real life, but on FIFA I think Buffon is a little bit underrated in, in the form of stats I mean his handling and reflexes are still good his positioning and diving is decent enough but handling and uh, reflexes could be a little bit better uh, Neto really good in real life but his, on FIFA his stats aren't that good it's mm, but still let's go on um, uh, in defense we have uh, Chiellini Bonucci and Marzagli, the standard uh, three-back uh, trio from uh, Juventus. Uh, the replacements are Caceres and Padouin because Padouin can play on every every possible position on the field. He played last season left back, right back, um, center defensive mid, center mid, uh, left mid, right mid. Um, and uh, center back so he actually didn't the only positions that he didn't play is uh, in goal and at striker so uh, very very handy player but not the best of players he's a little bit I don't like him but it's just nice if you need someone at a certain position so um, then on the center defensive mid spot we have Kedira if he uh, recovers from an injury I think he will be uh, a player that will start most of the games uh, as Marquisio because Marquisio is just uh, an I he's going to be an an icon for Juventus just because he played like since he was he, he actually played his whole life only at Juventus so uh, very very nice and on the more attacking uh, role of the field we have Pogba who can be replaced by um, Hernanes who recently transferred uh, or uh, by Pereira uh, Pereira and Hernanes can also play on the center mid spot but on this formation is not there is no exact formation uh, on FIFA which Juventus uses so uh, I just did it like this uh, Suraro can also be a um, replacement on the center mid and Lemina uh, recently uh, went to Juventus uh, could be a very very nice player on the center defensive mid or center mid spot so um, I hope uh, he's going to be a very nice player in a year or two uh, so then on the right mid spot we have Lichtsteiner um, because m most of the times uh, Juventus plays with uh, three defenders and then uh, two wingers who attack and defend at the same time they are so well well conditioned so uh, that's why I went with Lichtsteiner just because uh, Quadrado is just at Juve and uh, more that attacking player so I uh, don't know how to uh, how they will rock with that but uh, maybe a 4-4-2 with Lichtsteiner and Quadrado they often do uh, Allegri use 4-4-2 uh, uh, dif uh, different times so uh, that could be very very nice then uh, on the left mid spot we have Alex Sandro um, I think he's going to start most of the games over Patrice Evra just because Evra is a little bit older uh, but he is he is still great but it depends on which position I think um, if it's with 4-4-2 I think they will start Evra and Alexandro if uh, Asamoa isn't uh, back yet so uh, because uh, he is uh, a long time injured, so uh, that could be, this could be Alexandro Evra or Asamoa. Uh, on the striker spots, we have Mandzukic and Morata, uh, very very nice players. Mandzukic who isn't that great, uh, he hadn't had that great of a start uh, yet this uh, year with Juve, so. I hope he's going to be very very good in the few uh, the next few games. So um, otherwise, uh, the wonder kid Dybala uh, could be uh, his replacement. He played so so well the games that he played yet for Juve. So actually, the only player who's actually playing good at the moment for Juve. So 
uh, he could be in the team over uh, Mandzukic or Morata just as uh, Zalza oh no no wait I know Zalza still is Juventus I think I thought for a moment that they loaned him out but it's not so uh, this is the potential team uh, lineup for um, Juventus next year uh, leave a like leave a subscription and I'll uh, see you guys with another video probably another uh, possible lineup so bye